Hey guys! In today's study with me video, I'll be showing you the studying and schoolwork that I usually do after I get home from school. I usually get home sometime between 5.30 and 6 o'clock because of sports practice, and then I have dinner and I shower, and I usually start doing schoolwork sometime between 6.30 and 7. The number of hours that I spend studying each day after school tends to vary a bit depending on how much homework I have, any projects I'm working on, and how tired I feel, but in general I spend between 3 to 5 hours on studying and doing homework. So as I've been explaining, what the video has been showing is that I'm annotating the book, or rather play, that we're reading in English. So the play that we're reading is The Crucible. I had a quiz on Act 2 coming up the next day, and I hadn't done the annotations for all of Act 2 since I missed a class due to sports. The way I do my annotations is on post-it notes, so I'll write them on the post-it note evidently, and then I cut the post-it note so that only the part with the text is there, and I stick it on to the spot that aligns with the text that I want to annotate. I don't really have that many annotation tips to be honest, since I'm not that great at it either. Usually it's either a plot summary or a response to what's going on. Now I'm moving on to doing some notes for a push. If you'd like a more detailed overview of how exactly I take history notes, I'll link some videos in the I card thing. So one of them is my video about how I take history notes. That video was about AP Euro. I've changed my note taking style a bit since then, so please do let me know if you'd like me to make an updated how to take history notes video. Next, I will also link a study with me for AP US History that I posted a couple of months ago, I think. And in that video, I went into a bit more detail about the differences, what I've changed in my study techniques from AP Euro to APUSH. You might have noticed that I abruptly skipped from the front side of this notes to the back side. That's because my camera ran out of memory and I didn't notice, unfortunately, so that whole middle section did not get recorded. It now going back to my explanation of my notes, if you don't want to click to those videos, I can explain a little bit right now. So basically what I do is the really long headers are for the larger section headers in my textbook and then the smaller highlighted headers are just the regular headers in my textbook. And then I take bullet point notes. My goal is to limit myself to one bullet point or less per paragraph. That way I can keep things concise. As far as knowing what exactly to write down, I can't give any very concrete tips on how to do this since it depends a lot on your learning style and the content focus of the class that you are taking. It comes with practice though, so definitely keep working at it and you'll improve your note taking skills. Of course, my camera just really didn't want me to film myself taking these notes, so it cuts off at the end as well. I just finished the section. And now I'm moving on to adding the headers onto my math notes. If you watched my how I take notes in class video, basically what I do is I take all of my notes in class and I leave the calligraphy header to do at home for a minute or so. If you notice me reaching over to type on my computer a lot, it's because my friends and I were also giving each other feedback on our APUSH essays while I was doing this. I don't really recommend multitasking because it distracts your focus from both tasks, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do even if it's not the most efficient. That being said, now I'm moving on to doing my math homework. And this is an assignment, of course, it's a required assignment, and I also use homework as an opportunity to study by doing practice questions. So while I'm doing my homework, I try to make it as much like a test as possible. So I don't refer back to my notes unless absolutely necessary, and I 
don't really use a calculator, of course. As I'm saying this, I have a calculator, but I promise it's just because I'm checking my work. My textbook has answers for the odd problems in the back so I can confirm that I'm doing things correctly, and I just wanted to use a calculator to double check my even answers. I also find that this kind of instant feedback of checking answers helps me a lot since especially in Calculus BC, I'm learning a lot of new concepts because I didn't take AB before BC. This works at my school for some weird reason, I don't know why. But yeah, it really helps me to check my answers, that way I can know whether I'm on track and doing things correctly or not. You might also notice that now I have a clipboard underneath my homework, and that's because the struggles of having a white desk it's really aesthetic looking and it works as a photo backdrop, but since I write really hard, whenever I have pencil on the other side of the paper that I'm writing on, it tends to transfer onto my white desk and make ugly marks. So I use this clipboard that I got from Daiso as a barrier between my white desk and the graphite smudges. Lastly, I'm moving on to studying for math outside of my homework assignment. I study for math based on the Curve of Forgetting, which is a printable slash system that I mention quite a bit. I will link more about it in the description if you'd like to check that out. But basically, it's the way that I schedule when to study to maximize helping myself remember the things. So basically, I'm doing questions from the textbook, and I'm doing them on my whiteboard notebook. I find this really helpful as a study tool because I can do as many math practice questions as I like, and I won't feel guilty about wasting paper, just writing on it once, and then checking my answers, and then just throwing it away. Instead, I can just do it on this reusable option that is better for the environment. Of course, if you don't want to get a specific notebook for this, you can always just use a regular miniature whiteboard, they're pretty cheap on the internet. And I'm referring to my notebook occasionally, since some topics were in the notes, but not in the textbook. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more Study With Me videos, I will link some on the screen and in the description. I upload new videos every Friday, and you can check out my Tumblr and Instagram, which are at StudyQuill. See you next time!